people who have been forced to flee their countries often struggle to find access to basic amenities and social interventions. It is also a challenge to provide quality education for their children. The Refugee Community Center in Accra would help refugees in the country to embark on livelihood programs and information sharing. The center would also showcase their skills in soap making, mushroom productions, eco-friendly collections, nose marks production, and artworks, among others. We have the livelihood support that is being given them. And indeed, there was a training, um, Start Improve Your Business, SIYB. A number of them went through that training. Some of them registered their uh, companies, and they are helping other refugees. At least when you are moving, you want to see that those behind you are also coming. The Ghana Refugee Board, together with our partners, will intensify sensitization activities in order to raise public awareness of the presence of refugees in our communities and in our camps. We will also work with, with refugees, reiterating their rights and responsibility with respect to the laws of Ghana and societal norms. The UNHCR country representative, Madame Esther Kiragu, said the center will nurture and develop refugee community-based organizations and also provide a venue for UNHCR and stakeholders to engage in partnerships to strengthen refugee initiatives. Integration is the way to go because you want people to feel included and to also contribute in the local economy and where they find themselves in. Talking about security, if you leave people idle, then you can't blame them when they get into other, less constructive um, activities. But thank God that they are included. World Refugee Day is an international day designated by the United Nations to honor refugees around the globe. It is celebrated on June 20 annually to strengthen and encourage people who have been forced to flee their home countries due to conflict or persecution. The day is under the theme, Together We Heal, Learn and Shine. For GBC News, Ofriwa Dako reporting.